Hello everyone. My name is Yangdup Lama and welcome to the Spirited Monk. A show where I bring to you two of my biggest passions, cocktails and stories. Stories that I've gathered over a period of more than 25 years that I have been behind the bar. These are stories about people, about drinks, about my experiences as a bartender, and with each of these stories, I'm going to dedicate a cocktail towards the end. So, please make sure that you watch the episode right till the end. Once again, welcome to the Spirited Monk. Let me start the first series of the Spirited Monk by asking you all a question. Tell me, what is the similarity between the shampoo, the button in your shirt, the game of chess, and one of the oldest cocktail premixes, the punch? They were all born right here. No, not where I am sitting, but they were all born right here in India. So today. I'm going to take you back a few hundred years and tell you the story of the punch. The punch is believed to have been patronized by the British sailors and the employees of the British East India Company in the early 17th century. It is believed to have been discovered by a German managing a factory in Surat in 1638 where it, he identified that the locals we're using a mix of aqua vitae some rose water lime and sugar to make a drink according to cocktail historian david wonrich this is that one drink that is supposed to be the monarch of all mixed drinks it is a clear indication of a balance of flavor profile that it embodies right the punch actually is a it actually comes from the sanskrit word punch which means five and it represents the five key elements in the drink itself for example the strong which is the alcohol the weak which is the water in those days ice for the present day then the citrus which is the sour and then the sugar the sweet and finally the spice to make it nice okay so let me take you to my bar upstairs and show you how to make a punch in the present day come let's go hello and welcome to my small little kingdom my bar and uh, you know a while ago i spoke to you about the punch its history and the five elements and why it becomes the monarch of all mixed drinks i'm going to demonstrate the same make you a nice punch purely taking in mind or keeping in mind the present day trends and of course uh, the flavors all right so in order to make the punch what i'm going to do is I'm going to make it in a big punch bowl. So in a big bowl like this, I'm going to fix you a punch for every one of us, right? So first things first, we take the bowl and I'm going to start by pouring alcohol. Now in this case, I'm going to be making a punch using rum because when the punch became very popular a little later, uh it gained a lot of popularity as the rum punch because of the spice trade the spices being popular in the in the caribbean islands and that's where the punch became very popular and mostly the rum punch okay and uh, the rum also kind of works really really well with spices and of course globally also when we make a punch it is the rum that takes as the main base in terms of its alcohol so i'm going to pour approximately about 300 ml of alcohol in the bowl so dark rum now there isn't a standard measure you know you could always go a little high or low in terms of your measures but it entirely depends upon the right balance so finding the right balance is very important so when we make cocktails like these in big quantities the idea is to make sure that you get the balance correct it isn't difficult to like when you fix a single cocktail in this case it's it's huge it's large so you can actually pour in all the ingredients based on your measure and then see the balance a little later so the second thing that i'm going to pour is lime juice 
you know, as, as I mentioned earlier in the story of the punch, the lime. In this part of the world, we do not get lemon. So we get the Indian lime, which is a bit more citrus and very sharp. And uh, it's important to make sure that we use just the right quantity because too much of it will take on all the flavors, as in it will kill on all the flavors. The third that I'm going to pour is a little different ingredient. Normally, when you make punches across the globe, you don't use it. And this is going to be, uh, sorry, mango juice. And mango is something which is very centric to India. And therefore, it's nice, it's flavorful, and it's fruity. followed by pineapple juice. So in terms of the juices, I'm using approximately about 150 ml of each. So I used 150 of mango, 150 ml of the pineapple juice. And finally, I'm going to use another 150 ml of the orange juice. And before I put the week, which is the ice, I'm going to add some spice to make it nice, all right? A slightly different way in which I would like to incorporate the flavor of the spices in there. So I'm taking some nice green cardamom, black pepper, nutmeg. Again, there isn't a standard measure for the same. It depends upon how intense you want the drink to be. So star anise some cloves and maybe one cinnamon stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn this so that we get the right flavors that is released. Okay. And last but not the least, we will just add loads and loads of ice in there. And to finish off the drink, I'm going to take some fresh oranges, cut them into thin slices. So these bring a lot of freshness to the drink. I'll cut a few slices of the red apple as well. and dump them in there and just finally a few edible flowers now the punch also works as a great party drink so if you happen to host your friends over for a party at home, it's always nice to start by making a punch. So you make a punch in a big bowl like this and uh, also serve it as a welcome drink. So people could just come pour the punch in their respective glasses and have a great evening. So the punch is ready in a nice big bowl. Of course, we are not going to drink it like, like a soup. So we're going to help ourselves in a nice little glass. Uh, and then say cheers to the punch. So what I'm going to do is, pour a drink for myself. And what I'm going to do is go a little traditional with my way of saying cheers. You know, we come from this part of the world where especially uh, in the hills 
One of the things that we do is we always have alcohol as part of our culture and especially with the tribals uh, which I am a part of, uh, we believe in ancestral worship and every time you make a brew or you serve a drink for yourself in the evening you always offer it to your angels, uh, to the ancestors, to the gods and the goddesses and all the uh, things around you to create a lot of positivity and uh, keeping that in mind I'm going to go the traditional way of doing cheers with you all, all right? So with the help of my ring finger, I'm going to do this three times, okay? Three times, my grandfather used to do it often whenever he poured a brew, uh, which was the first brew for him of the day. And he always believed in good luck, happiness for the present and for the future. Cheers. Wow. That's fantastic. If you like this video, then please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Three Bar Stools and follow us on Instagram. Cheers.